In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create categories and tags for your WordPress blog. Categories are very important because they allow you to make it easy for people to find what they're searching for. You know, at first, it may not seem like a big deal to have categories, but once you get a lot of different blog posts, having categories will make your blog a lot more readable and it'll help people to find things quickly and easily. So there's a couple different ways you can add categories. You can actually add categories on the fly when you're making a new post if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that here. So let's do a post, for example, about poodles. And let's say you don't already have a category for poodles, which we don't. Over here in the categories box here, we can click on this button right here that says add new category. So if I click on that, it pops up a window and I can just type in the category and I'm going to keep it a parent category. I will explain that later, but I type in the category and just click add new category and it automatically added the new category called poodles and it actually check marked it because this post is about poodles. And if I click publish, we'll go to the blog and now we have a poodles post and it shows that it's posted in the poodles category. So that is one way to create categories. You can do it on the fly as you're doing a post. Now another thing you can do, let's go back to our dashboard, is if we click on the posts drop down box, you'll see it says categories here and I'm going to click on that and I can add more categories from here. You'll see we have our poodles category and it even shows how many posts we have under that category. Let's add one for bulldogs for example. So you just type in the name of the category and the slug is just a URL friendly version. It's usually just the lowercase of whatever you typed in above it. And the parent, again, I'm going to explain that in a different video, but we're going to just click or leave it at none. And description, I'm going to leave that blank. Not a big deal. You could put something in there if you wanted to, but you really you don't have to. And I'm going to, from there, just click on add new category. And now we've added a new category called bulldogs. Now we could also create one for terriers. And that's how simple it is. Now we have one for terriers. So if we go back to our new post and let's say we're doing a new post, let's say this is going to be about bulldogs. Instead of having to create a new category, I've already created one. All I have to do is simply just check that box that it's about the bulldogs category and that's it. And then just click publish. And there we go. And now, here's the Bulldogs post, and it's posted in, in Bulldogs. So the importance of categories, like I said, is to make it easy to find what you're looking for. Now let me demonstrate the importance of categories. This is one of our blog sites that uh, we haven't done much with lately, but it's uh, got a lot of posts from a while back about all kinds of different things. And the importance of categories is for people being able to find just what they want. So for example, you know, do you want to read about uh, a, a, a good movie we watched? Maybe, but let's say you're just looking for business advice. That's one of my categories here. So if I click on business advice, it'll show just the posts that I've tagged as business advice posts. And that's it. No more, no less. It'll help people find exactly what they're looking for. So again, that's how important categories are. If you think of this dog website, and there's just picture down the road, we had every single breed represented. We had training tips, you know, all kinds of dog stuff. Let's say somebody was just interested in bulldogs, and that's all they wanted to view. They could go over here under categories and click on bulldogs, and instead of, you know, all kinds of different posts showing up, it's only going to show the posts that are in the bulldog category. So again, it makes it really easy to 
read and consume your blog, which is definitely what you do want. So again, for categories, it's as simple as creating them on the fly or just clicking on the post drop down box and choosing categories. And from there, you can create your own categories one by one. Now, you can also do post tags. And tags are a little bit different, but again, same kind of thing. They make it easy for you to find, for people to find what they're looking for. And it's the same type of way. You put it in the name and the lowercase and click Add New Tag. And from the New Posting screen, you can come down here and just add a new tag and type it in and click Add. And that will now tag that. Or you can just type in a word with a comma and then another word and it'll tag that post. And once you have tags with your posts, again, it makes it easier for search engines. You can do tag clouds so people can find what they're looking for easily. It's all about making your blog easier to read and easier to consume.